Welcome to VR Preview. I am Ducky O'Brien, and today I'll be going over Power Beats VR VR Fitness. It was developed and published by Fine Mind Creations. It's out now for the Valve Index, the HTC Vive, the Oculus Rift, and Windows Mixed Reality. It was released on November 18, 2020. The current MSRP is $19.99. I'm playing on the Oculus Quest 2. I'm using the virtual desktop app. Alright, here we go. This is a fitness game. And you punch stuff. You use both of your hands. There's really no buttons to control. It's all based on your hand tracking. Apologies for the uh, shaky video. It's really hard to capture steady VR footage. I tried multiple things. I haven't found a solution yet. But for now, uh, please bear with it. So as you can see, there are balls coming out and just use your fist to punch him. Comes out according to the rhythm. Now this is very hard. Uh, I can't really, you know, show you guys. Well, I guess I could record myself. But basically, there are some wide hits where you have to sidestep to get to the balls. So I couldn't, I can't believe I'm saying this, but uh, this game gave me an actual workout. I was sweating a couple minutes in. Um, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy mode, but when you go to advanced or expert, man, it gets hard. My thighs hurt because basically you're doing the lunges or thrusts. <laughs> I mean, uh, squats, sorry. <laughs> basically doing squats and side steps. So it works out your legs, works out your arms, gives you good cardio. Again, once you get into it, it's pretty fun. A couple of things. Uh, since you get really sweaty, I would recommend getting a new faceplate for your headset. Something with pleather. The Oculus Quest 2 has that foam and that will absorb all the sweat and it'll turn nasty real fast. So I would recommend getting a uh, ex exchangeable, replaceable faceplate. Uh, you can buy, you know, third party ones for like 20 bucks. You can wipe it clean. The controllers you can just wipe down, so it's fine. But yeah, I was, <laughs> I was struggling because I'm, I'm kind of out of shape, and this actually does give you a nice workout. Also, lets you know when you're kind of going out of your boundary zone. Yeah, I tried playing this with the Oculus Link cable. Mine was too short because I'm just using a third-party USB-C cable, which is a, uh, I would say like maybe six feet tethered to my PC, it wasn't doable, so I used the virtual desktop app. Uh, it costs money, you gotta pay $20 for the app, and then you gotta sideload the update, and then you can load Steam VR from it. Works pretty okay, I'm not gonna lie. There are some lag spikes here and there, I'm playing from a wireless adapter on my PC, which is hooked up to my router and then to the Quest. Yeah, but that was... That was only a few minutes, but it felt like forever. <laughs> Alright, here. So you can see BAE means beginner, advanced, and expert. You can go to volume 1 or volume 2 for like different vibes for the music. I'm gonna do advanced here. This is my first time playing it. And uh, again, I'm not in the best of shape, so... Here you have to actually like... Move your head to the side. I'm gonna get hit a lot here. Yeah, my first time playing it. <laughs> I'm pretty out of shape. You have to move real fast. On the metal balls, you have to punch with more force. Otherwise, uh, it won't move. Now, you do unlock new weapons like a hammer, etc. as you level up. Um, so there's more ways to play. Just kind of vary it up. Hand tracking works really well. Yeah, I'm playing on a virtual desktop casting to my headset. Even with a little bit of latency, it's very playable. There's like a rhythm to it. It's almost like you're doing old school, uh, kind of like aerobic exercises. Step aerobics. That's what it feels like. But yeah, I highly recommend it. It actually gave me a workout. Uh, I'm sweating like crazy. My muscles hurt. 
my legs hurt after playing a few minutes. It'll definitely get you into shape if you're out of shape. Again, I'm gonna figure out a way to stabilize the video footage. I might put the quest on like a, a movable tripod. <laughs> And then I'll, I'll move it up and down with my hand manually, or maybe with the remote. I, I, I tried a lot of stuff. Uh, I put like a, a piece of cloth on the headset so it would register as having a face there. And then <laughs> I put it on a box and I tried to record, but it was really hard because this game requires you to move your head. So, yeah. It's my first VR game that I covered, uh, so hopefully I'll figure the tech out. So the rails, you're supposed to move your hand on it. When it goes to expert mode, it gets pretty hard. Yeah, uh, I tried Beat Saber, and I tried another game, and this one gave me a harder workout. Because um, I had to move my legs all the time. I'm basically doing squats. And sidestepping all the time, so... In addition to your arm movements. Man. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be covering VR games a lot more as well. I'm starting to work on developing one with my cousin. And I, I honestly think VR is the future. Uh, I think for most people, the Quest 2 is very usable and affordable. I think for like people who are picky, maybe uh, version 3 will you know, be perfect for them. But for me, I'm sold. I'm going all in on VR. On it, yeah, I said this before on one of my streams, but I think AR is the, the far future. I think AR glasses are going to be the thing, like it's going to replace phones. And then the middle ground, before we hit that, it's going to be VR. I'm going to take a look at the options here. So you get no horizontal walls, no vertical walls, smaller balls. You're basically adjusting the game to your liking. If the ball is too small, you can make it bigger. Uh, here you can adjust your height, you can adjust your width. Uh, you can rotate your play space or reset it. And here are your video settings. You can reduce it if it's kind of chugging. You can adjust your music and special effects volumes, uh, the announcer volume. And here you got your health related stuff. And here for the gameplay, you can change kind of like your background. But here are the credits. Man, it's uh, it was made by a surprisingly small team. Felt pretty good. How to play just goes, you know, tells you to hit the balls, etc. You can create playlists if you want. Yeah, over here we can change the environment, and if you look here, you got the fist, and then you can unlock different weapons as you level up. Now I'm gonna try... <laughs> I'm gonna try an expert one. Holy cow. Get ready. Yeah, it's my first time trying this one, so I'm not gonna be very good. So the guy saying hit harder is talking about the metal balls where you gotta punch with force. This is why I use the uh, virtual desktop app because you know, with the wire connecting you, um, you're gonna you're probably gonna swipe at it <laughs> and, and pull it off your headset by mistake. Yeah, after watching this footage back, it was really shaky, and I was like, I should try. I should try re-recording it. <laughs> But yeah, it was incredibly fun, uh, and it g gave me a workout. So, you know, if you're stuck in quarantine and you don't, you can't hit the gym, it's not gonna be the same as lifting weights. But it'll definitely give you a workout. <laughs> it'll keep you moving. I was struggling, man. I was, I'm out of shape. My whole body's like a, like a swimming pool noodle. You know, it's no, <laughs> no nothing. 
There's like a rhythm to the the wires as well, like kind of swinging your arms to the beat. Yeah, for space requirement as well, uh, you kind of need a little bit of space because you do move side to side about one feet, one foot. Uh, and then you're going to be punching too, so you're going to want the area to be a little bit clearer than some other games where you can be relatively stationary. Managed to play this game in like a very cramped, uh, basically my office space near my desk. Just had to make sure that uh, I just cleared <laughs> my... The space around my arms will all be swinging. Hey, you have to move incredibly fast. <laughs> oh man. New high score. You know, I, I got a high score first time, you know. It wasn't so bad, I guess. There you have it folks, Power Beats VR, VR Fitness, 1999, compatible with the Index, the Vive, the Rift, the WMR, and the Quest. Uh, thank you via the link cable or virtual desktop. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. Look forward to some more VR coverage. Anyways, I'll be signing out. Catch you guys next time.